Jamie and Claire have returned to the, the rebel camp, and Claire has been captured by the British. Claire went to look for one of her patients. She never came back. She get brought back by the British Army to Ticonderoga, which they have now taken over. We need water. There's very little there. Claire is sort of put away with the rest of the prisoners, and there she sees Walter again. He has blood clots, basically, that she diagnoses, and she knows that this is fatal. There's a really moving and poignant scene between the two of them where she has to kind of sit with him in his final moments. We start with what's on the page, and we build from there, and she came in with, with a bunch of ideas that just made the scene better. What she brings every single day is perfect. Godspeed, Walter. Sir! She encounters William Ransom, Earl of Ellesmere, who is, of course, as we know, Jamie Fraser's son, played wonderfully by Charles van der Vaart. I am Lieutenant Lord Ellesmere, William Ransom. I visited your home on Fraser's Bridge when I was still a boy. You saved my father's life. It was so lovely. I think it was my first scenes with Charles. And he's just such an absolute sweetheart. He's an absolute hunk for all you ladies out there. It was such a pleasure to work with him, and he's such a great addition to the cast. He is a star in the making. He's so open. The way he absorbs notes or comments and then applies them, it's absolutely extraordinary. On my honor. I shall let you go. I'm not going anywhere without her. The lady stays. She is a prisoner of His Majesty the King. Ian saved his life, and I think he, you know, in one way or another, he owes him. I think on one hand, he wants to fulfill his duty as a lieutenant, but on the other hand, I think he has a great deal of respect for Claire and for Ian. A life for a life, Mr. Murray. We're quits. Don't let me see you again. I'm out of a choice. He decides to let them go and sacrifice, I guess, his duty for that honor. I think for Ian, the ultimate decision to show his love for Rachel is when he entrusts her with his lovely canine friend, Rolo. I think that's his way of saying to her, I'll be back. She does this big favor for him, which is looking after Rolo. She's not maybe quite aware of quite how she feels yet, but she just knows she's very, very drawn to him and there's just something about him. I think we probably sound like crazy people on set together. We're just absolute nonsense. We're just laughing all the time. And I think that really comes across. She's really special. If you ever find yourself unable to sleep at night, I'll let you take Rodo. Aren't I the lucky one? Barry O'Connor, who plays Captain Morgan, is, is fantastic. He's a very tall man, which is uh, strange for me to be standing next to someone that's taller than me. He's a very charismatic uh, character, but also uh, Barry is a very charismatic actor. Come with me. I'll be sure you're well taken care of. And uh, bring your life well. Jamie willingly goes with him, and I think there's a, a great understanding and possibly a friendship there. You're my man. You were a teacher once, weren't you? This proposal is, is put at his feet um, to teach Gaelic. I just think it gives him a real sense of purpose, and um, finally he's finding his footing in this place. 1980 in the Highlands of Scotland, a man staying at home to take care of the kids was probably uh, stood out. But what's it mean? May your intestines burst through your belly and beaten by crows. <laughs> Having Buck McKenzie around has, um, I think, added a lot to the story. It was kind of Buck's fault that Roger got hanged. You immediately feel a sense of potential when these characters start to come on the scene. Where is this? This could go anywhere. What the hell do you think you're doing? It was a fun one to play. Dermot is, is, a, is a brilliant actor. He plays, I think he plays Buck brilliantly. So I've been having a lot of fun with him. <laughs> 